For example, number two, Ali, Bob and Ravi bought ticket for three separate performance. The table below shows the numbers of ticket bought by each of them, which is Ali buy two ticket for concert, one for orchestra and one for opera. While Bob, one for concert, one for orchestra and one for opera. While Ravi, two for concert, two for orchestra and one for opera. A. If the total cost for Ali was RM 122 ringgit, Bob 187 ringgit and Ravi 146 ringgit, represent this information in the form of three equation. B. Find the cost per ticket for each of the performance using Gauss Jordan elimination method. And lastly, determine how much it will cost Hassan to purchase two concert, one orchestra, and three opera ticket. Okay, next, you have to create the variable for this situation, which is x, the price for each concert ticket, y, the price for each orchestral ticket, and z, the price for each opera ticket. The three equations are 2x plus y plus z is equal to 122. Equation number 2, x plus y plus z is equal to 87. And number 3, 2x plus 2y plus z is equal to 146. To that, we create matrix A x equal to B, which is matrix A is all the coefficient from the system of linear equation. Matrix X, all the variable, which is X, Y, and Z. And last, matrix B, which is matrix 122, 87, and 140. After that, we create an augmented matrix to start the Gauss Jordan elimination method. Augmented matrix which is we put matrix A together with matrix B. This is an augmented matrix. Okay, this is our augmented matrix. Matrix A together with matrix B. Matrix A is 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 and 2, 2, 1 which is the coefficient from the uh, system of linear equation 122 together with matrix B 122 87 and 146 we are going to the first column to obtain 0 for number 1 and 0 for number 2 from the third row this is the formula row 2 is equal to row number 2 minus row number 1 and we replace the third row by using row 3 minus row number 1. We are in the first column, so we use row number 1 as our reference. Now we move to the second column. To obtain 0 for row number 1 and to obtain 0 for row number 3. Using formula, R1 star is equal to R1 minus R2 and replace R3 using formula R3 minus R2. We are in the second column, so we use R2 as our reference. And then next, going to the third column, to determine, to obtain 0 for row number 1, and row number 2. Since row number 1 already 0, we are going to replace row number 2. Row, row number 2 is equal to row 2 plus row number 3. Refer with row number 3 because we are in the third column. Okay, now we already have diagonal matrix on left side. So to change from diagonal matrix 
to identity matrix, we just divide or multiply by uh, 1 over 2 for row number 1 and multiply by negative 1 for row number 3. After we get identity on left side, so the number, all the numbers on right side will be 35, 24 and 28. So as conclusion, x equal to 35, y equal to 24 and z is equal to 28.